This weekend, the U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds, they will be the headliners again at this year's Veteran Dayton Air Show. And as you may have noticed, they flew into Dayton this afternoon, giving us all a sneak peek at their spectacular aerial displays. Tune News reporter Dana Smith live at Dayton International Airport with more on what to expect this weekend. The Veteran Dayton Air Show is this a Saturday and Sunday, and event organizers are promising that this year they'll be showing attendees things they've never seen before. The Thunderbirds arrived in Dayton today and showed off their incredible flying skills ahead of this weekend's show. Pilot Kevin Walsh said the air show is especially exciting for him as he's familiar with the Dayton area. I learned how to fly the F-16 right across the way in Springfield, Ohio. So it's kind of like coming home in a little bit of a way. Uh, so I'm pumped to be back here. Air show organizer Roger Doctor said the Thunderbirds may be the main attraction, but there will be a lot of other things going on this weekend. They're America's best, and we're delighted to have them here. But we also have things this year that Dayton has never seen before. New fighter jets, an all-woman skydiving team, and war reenactments and demonstrations are just some of the highlights, as are the Geico Skytypers, who create smoke messages. These letters are a 1,000 feet tall. That's as tall as the Empire State Building. Doctor said there'll be interactive activities for children and adults, including up-close and personal looks at more than 50 aircraft on the ground and in the air. We're going to have four and a half hours of things in the air flying, and I can't wait. I can't wait for the weekend to get here. And the Thunderbirds, of course, will give spectators an impressive display. Uh, so it'll be a lot of noise, a lot of fast-paced action. Uh, there's not just military acts at this air show, though. Good civilian acts as well. Uh, so it's going to be a fun day for the whole family. For more information on where and how to buy tickets, check out our website at WDTN.com. Live in Dayton, Dana Smith, 2 News, working for you.